We're at a different area of the workspace now. Tell me what you do over here. So this is my soldering station. Um, metal smithing, as said before, is a dirty, dangerous job. Um, there are a lot of hazardous, um, airborne things you don't want going in your lungs. So this is where I do it, and I've got an exhaust here to kind of protect me. Um, and definitely, kids don't try this at home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if you do want to try it, always make sure you're wearing eye protection, mm -hmm. um, an apron because you are working with heavy with fire, um, and a respirator. Okay. If you don't have an exhaust or if you're not outside. Before we get started with this project over here, I do want to ask, how often do you drop new collections? So typically I shoot to go, I shoot to uh, drop new collections once a month, um, although I'm creating daily for the market on Saturdays. Um, and I'll probably rev up some collections as the holidays approach. Okay. Uh, to be determined, we'll just see. Yeah. Because sometimes my to-do list is impossible. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> but I try. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely once a month for the online um, followers. Love you guys. <laughs> and then every day for Soda City because we love that market. Yes, it is a great market. Yeah. And so where do you get your inspiration to create new things? Um, some. So I will say, I will have some, there are some times where I sit down with a design that I've drawn up and by the time I'm done with it, it looks nothing like that because mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, well maybe I'll try this or I'll try that. So really, Inspiration comes when I'm not thinking about it. If I think too hard about it, then I don't, it's not, it doesn't come out the way I want it to. Yeah. Um, yeah. But as long as it's bright and vivid, has texture, um, ha I would say nature, you know, as mm -hmm. I guess cliche as that sounds, but I mean, like here, for instance, are a pair of leaves that I decided to do because our leaves are starting to fall. You know, South Carolinians get so excited when the degrees drops five yes. degrees. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, you can you tell know, a difference. It'll be 90 <laughs> next week, but you yeah. know, the leaves are falling. Yes. So, that, you know, if that's a good um, representation of where I get my inspiration from. But uh, color, I love turquoise. I love a variety of stones. Um, I love adding funky flair as far as like the stamping. I have like a ton of design stamps. Um, so really just anything under that bohemian umbrella is just what seems to come out of me. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then earlier too, I, I do want to make sure that we mentioned, you said the foundation for everything that you do in life is your sobriety journey. So absolutely a little bit more about that. Um, I have been sober now for 10 years, which is like, what? That's huge. It is huge. Um, but it, I don't know. I feel like so many people are like, oh, well, how do you have fun when you're sober? I'm like, my sobriety has been my superpower. Mm -hmm. None of this would be possible if I weren't sober. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, it's just so important to me uh, to spread the message that there's so much life to be had if you're sober, if you're struggling. There's a wide community in Columbia who uh, will embrace you with open arms as they did for me. So, yeah. Woo! All right. <laughs> well, let's get to it. All right, it. <laughs> let's do it. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate um, how to do some silver, I'm sorry, gold fill um, hoops. These are pretty simple. We're going to solder the two ends together, but first I'm going to texturize mm -hmm. these guys. So I'm just going to give it some taps with a dapping hammer just to kind of, this will create kind of a sparkle effect. Ooh. Yeah. You this. got me tearing up too. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No. I told great. myself I wasn't gonna cry. It was great. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get my solder on real quick. And you're gonna stick it right underneath the join. We're gonna dab these guys with flux. And literally you're just gonna keep the flame moving. You wanna heat up your entire piece. We're gonna quench our metal to cool it off. All right. And this is where we're going to dap it into shape. And you literally just take it around, get it right. Now I just want to make sure these are the same size. They look good. All right, so we're gonna plop those in there and let those cook for a little bit. All right, 
So now that we've got our hoops all cleaned and polished, we're going to sit down here. So I'm snipping that guy here. All right, so we're putting the hoop in the loop. And we're going to hold this right here where the two ends meet. That way I can wrap it around. I like number three is like my magic number for some reason. Mm -hmm. Three times around and then I'll snip it. Oh, those are so pretty. Yeah. You know, I think you need to leave with these today. Oh, I would love that. And um, before we wrap up, if someone wants to get in touch or find out more about what you do, what's the best way to do that? HippieDoodah.com um, is my website, um, but I'm also really active on Instagram and Facebook. Um, you can message me anytime on there. Um, if I don't respond within a day, uh, chances are with the algorithms, I may not just see it, right. message me again, or come visit me at Soda City or my husband. Um, Justin's out there, like I said, the inspiration. Um, we're there every Saturday, rain or shine, literally every Saturday. So come on out and see us. Wonderful. Well, yeah. thank you so much for showing us all of this and telling us more about your beautiful handmade jewelry. Thank we you so much it. for coming.